All right, this breaking news is about the Shivmoga stabbing incident probe. The police are raiding multiple places as part of the probe. The SDPI office in Shivmoga has been searched and the houses of the accused, Tanvir, Nadeem, Rehman and Zabiola have also been raided by the Shivmoga police. Now, Prem Singh, remember, was the individual who was stabbed by the accused on Independence Day near the Gandhi Bazaar area of Shivmoga. Now remember, this, is, this entire incident took place on Independence Day and it essentially came out because of Savarkar poster, posters that were put up. And that is one of the recent incidents that we've seen in relation to Savarkar and the entire row in Karnataka. And this is the penultimate incident that began uh, the recent incidents that followed shortly afterwards. It happened every day on the 15th, 16th, 17th and 18th. And beyond that, we've been seeing the row escalate uh, from day to day where posters are being put up of Savarkar. You also have ex-chief ministers of the state bringing in their own statements on Savarkar and you even had uh, Yeti Urapa saying that he was our nation's pride. Now essentially that's something that began this entire incident in Shivmoga, the Savarkar and Tipu Sultan posters where the posters were put up first and then a group of people came in, removed those posters and put up the posters of Tipu Sultan instead. And that is when these clashes essentially took place. And in these clashes, that is where this individual Prem Singh was stabbed. And now the latest update on the police probe in this specific incident that took place on the 15th is that the police have raided multiple places as part of the probe. Now, specifically, one of the places that has been raided is the SDPI office and located in Shivmoga. That's been searched. Now, beyond this, the houses of the accused in the stabbing incident uh, you have Tanvir, Nadeem, Rehman and Zabiola. They have also been raided by the Shivmoga police. Now I'm crossing over to my colleague Harish Ovade to, give, to get us more details on this. Uh, Harish, essentially we just went through what happened on August 15th related to the stabbing incident. Can you give us more details about the SDPI office link to this entire matter? Well, uh, raids have happened at multiple places in Shomoga yesterday. We do understand the local police who are investigating this particular case have uh, uh, searched the SDPI office in Shomoga apart from the houses and other establishments where uh, these four accused were uh, either residing or working. And uh, more importantly, the fact that now SDPI office has been searched uh, by the Shomoga police indicates that perhaps there is some link that uh, these accused have with the SDPI and uh, they are perhaps looking at a larger conspiracy over there on whether there was any involvement or whether there were people uh, who were part of the SDPI or uh, whether who were uh, perhaps uh, known to these accused, whether they had any role. Uh, this is a significant uh, development in this probe that happened. Remember, Prem Singh was stabbed uh, on August 15, just after there was tension uh, at uh, uh, AA circle over there in uh, Shomoga. And now that uh, this uh, search has happened yesterday, one would expect some more detail to trickle in today on whether the police over there in Shomoga have, have found anything significant and uh, why they believed that a search was required at the SDPI office in uh, Shomoga. Remember, uh, the BJP has been accusing the SDPI and PFI for being behind these uh, clashes that took place in Shomoga. In fact, SCPI came out and said, we have absolutely no role to play in this. The BJP is unnecessarily dragging our name, but a search at their office in Shomoga perhaps now opens up a Pandora's box. We can expect the BJP to mount further pressure on SDPI. Absolutely. Now, essentially, the houses of the accused in this incident have been raided. The SDPI office has also been raided. Do we have any information about whether anything has been found? Well, this happened late last night. Uh, the police yet to give out on uh, any detail on what they have found, why this raid took place. Uh, was it because they believed that uh, the organization was directly involved or whether there were people in the organization who were helping these accused? Uh, that is not clear yet. But the fact that they believe that a search was required at the STPA office uh, perhaps gives out prima facie indication that uh, there could be some sort of a uh, link that is being explored or that is being probed by the Shumuga police. At what level it is uh, in the coming few days, we'll get to know. Uh, but politically, uh, this is uh, this is something that will hit the STPI. This is also something that the BJP would want to encash on. And uh, this is something that KC Shurapa, who also hails from Shumuga, has been constantly talking about. And now, uh, with this particular search operation, uh, that statement of the BJP perhaps gets a little more of credibility.
Good morning, Harish. This is Shilpa. Uh, I want to ask you about the kind of incidents that have been taking place in Shivmoga, especially in the recent past. Can you tell me what is it about this district which makes so many clashes take place here? Shilpa, uh, Shumoga has been communally sensitive for uh, decades now, right from the early 90s. It has seen multiple communal clashes. Uh, even, even the recent example or the recent incident that happened uh, around Independence Day over Ravil Savarkar's photo is the latest one. But uh, before that as well, if our viewers can recollect, uh, we had a Hindu activist who was killed, Harsha who was killed. And uh, there was a huge funeral procession that was taken and yet seen cases of arson and stone pelting uh, during that few funeral uh, procession over there and uh, the fact that we've had leaders like K.S. Ishwarappa from there, uh, someone who's seen as a rabble rouser, someone who's uh, known for giving out statements that could stoke communal tension, uh, it's only led to hardening of stance from both ends and perhaps that's one of the reasons why we see that uh, every time there is some sort of a communal tension in the state, uh, the Shumuga police or UNGUARD, uh, they, they put up extra forces in Shumuga to ensure that law and order doesn't become a problem. And uh, that's also a bigger reason now that uh, Shumuga police, uh, in fact, you had the AG, ADGP who was in Shumuga who said we've seen multiple incidents like these. We do not want it to repeat. And that's why we are looking at a possibility of uh, confiscating properties of these people who are uh, involved in these riots, involved in these communal clashes, because they do believe that uh, it's repeated at uh, alarming frequency, especially in Shumuga, uh, whether it was during the time of hijab protest that took place in uh, uh, January, February, or it's much later with uh, Harsha's killing, or now over the Veer Savarkar Road that's uh, currently on in Karnataka. Thank you, Harish, for bringing us context to uh, information on that. But now